So I tried another pyramid and this time I got quite a bit of rainbow color. I completely underestimated how long you need to heat the graphite mold for. So what you end up doing is you heat the graphite mold on a burner for uh, about 5-10 minutes before you flip it around and um, pour the bismuth in there and um, hopefully there's enough oxygen from the bismuth aerating in the air before touching the hot surface that it can oxidize in all directions and the effect is a rainbow color. Now one more thing I could try, I haven't, I haven't tried this yet, I should have, but um, I have an ozone generator. So if I pump additional ozone into the area around the mold, uh, the heat and the ozone will probably uh, accelerate the oxidation of the bismuth, on the surface at least. I will give that a try at some point. Uh, but I'm um, uh, really excited about um, the upcoming art show. So I have mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings about this idea of trying to drive bismuth to its fair price. So I showed in other videos how bismuth is only two to three times more abundant than gold and how cheap it is. Uh, but I was thinking what happens if I wake up tomorrow and all of a sudden bismuth is worth two, three hundred dollars an ounce like where it should be. I have mixed feelings about that. I'll let you pause the video. Well, I'll wake up a millionaire, but at the same time, I'll lose um, one of my uh, hobbies, right? So what, part of the reason I decided to start making bismuth art is that uh, we have an art show. And I want to supplement my income because at my work, a lot of times I don't get respected for who I am. And if I had a second income, I felt that it would make me freer to, um, to uh, do what I need to do at my uh, job and um, not um, have to feel like a slave, right? That was what initially motivated me to get involved in the art show. And um, a lot of times I, I have a crummy day at work. Well, not necessarily crummy. My boss, he's a very nice uh, guy. And um, to be honest, he probably doesn't realize that he holds a bunch of prejudices. Actually, uh, today uh, my car broke down and he was very uh, patient with me and um, understood. And um, he even gave me a ride to go pick up my car at the shop. And um, he can understand that, but at the same time, um, he feels like I need to meet somebody in my life. And he is kind of a little bit hostile with the idea that I just might stay single for life. He doesn't realize that he's hostile to it. Don't get me wrong. He, uh, well, he's from a different generation, different culture altogether. He probably got married when he was a teenager and he probably doesn't see other way around. And don't get me wrong, I, I do want to continue to work with a diverse culture, but at the same time, I feel like a lot of times um, I don't have a perfectly fair uh, level playing field. And so um, when I have a day like that and I come home and I can pour bismuth and, and take it to an art show, and as I'm pouring, sometimes I'll literally say, screw my work, screw my work, screw my work. And it gets me going to the point that I, 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 I can take a 50-pound bismuth bar and make all sorts of art out of it, take it to an art show. And um, my first time going through 50 pounds of bismuth, I sold about 10 pounds worth and I got all the money back. And it got me really excited. And although I got so excited that I've run out of space for a lot of these things, the consignment shop that I'm trying to sell this at really hates me because I'm using all... He won't let me take any more stuff in until he gets rid of some of it. And so now I'm just stashing it all over my apartment, my car, my office, and so um, uh, I got a little bit carried away, let's put it that way. But I have mixed feelings, because tomorrow I wake up, bismuth is $300 an ounce. I don't think anybody can afford this anymore, right? A lot of this will probably just have to go right back into the furnace after all this hard work. I'll be an overnight millionaire, but... I'll lose my second source of income and um, I'll have to put up with crummy treatment at work again and not be able to come home and, 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 and curse about it while I pour bismuth and go to an art show and have other sources of connection. I have mixed feelings about that. I hope it slowly goes up to $300 an ounce when I can still play with it, right?